People ask me, do I need the Holy Spirit to go to heaven? My friends, you need the Holy Spirit to go to Walmart. Today I'd like to talk about the green scapular because it's a very important sacramental that we don't often hear about. Many of us you know, wear the brown scapular in which we're enrolled. It's the Carmelite scapular. But what is the green scapular? Sometimes it's called the badge of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It was approved by Pope Pius IX in 1870. And it's a unique scapular because you don't have to be enrolled in it. It could be given to uh, another Catholic, a Christian, or a non-believer. And it should be blessed, obviously, by a priest or deacon. It's also unique because it only has one piece of cloth. All other scapulars, really the word scapular comes from scapula, the shoulder bone, because the scapulars go, it's like an apron that goes over the front and over the back. Whereas this badge is only one piece of cloth and it could be worn or placed in a room um, or given to a person. Now this scapular originated originated with an apparition. Ten years after Our Lady appeared to St. Catherine Labouré at Rue des Bacs in Paris in 1830, another daughter of charity, Sister Justine, who died in 1903. She lived to be in her, in her 90s. And she was a novice at the time, and Our Lady appeared to her on about five different occasions. Uh, Sister Justine was born in France in 1817. She was orphaned at a very young age, raised by her aunt, and then entered the Daughters of Charity in 1840. And while she was a novice, Mary appeared to her dressed in a long white silk gown. Um, her feet were without shoes. And then Our Lady had a blue mantle over her dress. And her hair was not covered. It's one of the few apparitions where Our Lady did not wear a veil. Mary did not say anything during these apparitions, but just appeared uh, and manifesting her immaculate heart. So she, but then on September 8th of 1840, Sister Justine was at prayer, and this is where the Blessed Mother appeared again, this time holding in her right hand her immaculate heart enveloped with flames of love. And she said the flames were so bright, it was like looking at the sun. And then in her other hand, Our Lady held a single piece of green cloth on a string, and on the cloth was the image of Our Lady as she had appeared to Sister Justine holding her heart in her right hand. And on the other side of the cloth was an enlargement of the Immaculate Heart of Mary enveloped with flames of love. And she describes the rays more dazzling than the sun. And her heart was like crystal, it was transparent like glass, you could see right through it. Her heart was pierced by a sword and surmounted by a gold cross with the words in the shape of an oval around her immaculate heart. You've seen this image, I'm sure. And the prayer is, Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. And then Sister Justine heard an interior voice say that the Blessed Virgin wished the scapular to be promoted widely as an instrument for the conversion of souls. So she told her superiors, and eventually it was approved by the Pope as a valid, true apparition, and then as a sacramental sanctioned by the Church. Sister Justine would go on to work in Italy and then Constantinople, and eventually she would die in 1903. So we're very blessed to have this Again, the green scapular of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And that prayer should be said with great confidence. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. It could be said by the person that you're giving the scapular to, or if, they don't, if they're not believe, believers, then you say that prayer at least once a day. All, I would encourage many times a day to pray that prayer. And again, it can be given especially to those in the hospitals and nursing homes and prisons, because it's God's instrument of healings, conversions, and returns to the sacraments. So once the scapula was promoted, there were countless physical healings, 
People came back to confession after many years. People returned to the practice of the church. And again, it's, it's based upon the faith of the individual giving it, if not the faith of the person wearing it. For example, you can keep it in your wallet, in your purse, on your clothing. Many a parent have placed the green scapular under the beds of their children and teenagers. You can place it again in the mattress underneath. And again, even if the person themselves does not have faith, as long as you have faith and confidence, it can be God's instrument to bring about their conversion, their healing, or return to the sacraments. So I encourage you to obtain green scapulars. There's many places that will send you them for free, maybe like greenscapular.org or other Our Lady of the Rosary Library. Many of these websites will send you a free green scapular. Just make sure it's blessed by a priest or a deacon, and then say that prayer countless times a day for your loved ones, especially for fallen away Catholics and for the conversion of others to the faith. Say that prayer often. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death.